Annual rent growth for new resident leases hit a new high for this cycle, 5.9% as of Q3. And with numbers that strong, obviously we're gonna be seeing some huge numbers at the individual metro level. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the rent growth leaderboard today on Apart Market Dynamics from MPF Research. I'm Jay Parsons, he's Greg Willett. And Greg, in our US performance overview video, in our, in our last video, we talked about one region of the country that's really leading the way. Uh, let's share some regional stats. I think it's not going to surprise anybody to hear that the standout region is the West. That's been the case for quite a while now. But that premium we're seeing for the West over the rest of the country, in fact, is getting bigger. As of Q3, annual rent growth for new resident leases in the West came in at 8.4%. That's much stronger than the growth of 4.7% in the South, 4.5% in the Northeast, and 3.6% in the Midwest. But those increases around 4 to 5% on the East Coast in the middle of the country, I don't think we're going to have very many people complaining about that. <laughs> And looking at the individual metros leading the, uh, on the leaderboard, the list starts off with a lot of West region markets. And in the number one position, we have Portland for the first time in this cycle, maybe the first time ever. Uh, Portland posted 14.3% annual rent growth and effective rents for new leases. Uh, the market has been a regular on our leaderboard throughout this cycle, but this is the first time it's been at the very top of the position. Moving on through the list, Oakland is number two at 12.1%. And Greg, I should point out that we've been calling for Portland and Oakland to be at the top of the list for a while, having seen construction pick up a little bit later, maybe a little bit off on the exact numbers, but got the top two. At well, least. We, get, we, got, we have the order right. We'll, we'll, we'll claim credit for that. So uh, Portland and Oakland are just ahead of the uh, Bay Area neighbor San Francisco at 11.7%. Uh, Denver jumps in at number four, 10.1% growth. And next up in the number five spot, a little bit of a surprise perhaps, Sacramento, 9.9% growth. And then San Jose, number six, 9.7%. And then our first SoCal Metro, San Diego, 8.6%. There's a tie for the number eight position. And for the first time, we get a market that's not on the West Coast. Atlanta and Seattle both show 8.3% annual pricing power. Markets with rent growth for new residents of just under 8% are Nashville in the number 10 position at 7.9%, and Phoenix ranks number 11 at 7.6%. We then add our first real newcomer for this cycle, and Jay, it's your hometown, Charlotte. Uh, maybe a little bit of a surprise there on that one. Um, Charlotte ties with Fort Worth, each of those in the number 12 spot with effective rents for new residents growing by 7.3% during the past year. What's especially notable about Charlotte making the list is this is a really aggressive construction market. And we've talked about that in the past uh, when we discuss Denver and Nashville, but most of these other markets on the leaderboard are sort of light to medium in the construction category, but a lot of new supply in Charlotte. Yeah, and certainly in Charlotte, some of those are hot growth markets. Uh, one thing to point out, though, is that household formation has also been very robust, and so that's why we're continuing to see really strong rent growth in places like that, and even in Texas, which is a little bit further down the road. Right. Um, so let's get one more for you, though. Back to the west part of the country, Los Angeles. Uh, rent growth there at an even 7%. And so I'll point out that as we look at this list, the ones that are not on the west coast are those higher growth markets in the south, um, they're generating lots and lots of jobs, and we don't see anything on either the Northeast um, or the Midwest. And looking at the best performer in the Northeast, it's actually Boston, and it just barely misses the list. 6.7% annual rent growth in that one. Certainly the best performance we've seen in Boston in quite a while. For the Midwest, the best two performers are Cleveland and Kansas City, both of those markets getting uh, rent growth a hair under the 5% mark. Probably not the two you expected to be the best. Not the, the two that I actually would have predicted would have been right at the top for the Midwest. So, Greg, any other key takeaways from the data? Well, as we look at these numbers, I think we have to talk about affordability a little bit. And as we've looked at actual lease transactions uh, from clients who are using real page technology products, we see that there really aren't a huge number of households who are paying this really high share of rent, uh, really high share of income mm -hmm. is being spent on rent, which is the story the media is telling you all the time, and it's not exactly true. But you look at these West Coast numbers, and certainly you're going to have some folks who are getting feeling some stress here, um, and we certainly think that will contribute to these numbers slowing down. 
So there's definitely some interesting things to think about. Affordability comes up a lot. And Greg, to your point, it's probably not as big of an issue as everybody thinks. But again, those are some really big numbers in the West region of the country. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, and there certainly, too, could be additional risk there. Uh, the overall U.S. apartment numbers to slow down with what... It's true, Jay. If we hit a bump in the economy, we certainly could get a bigger correction in the West than we'll see in other parts of the country. And that's going to wrap us up for today's edition. So for Greg Willett, I'm Jay Parsons. Thank you for watching Apart Mark Dynamics from MPF Research. Want more? Go deeper with NPF Research's apartment market reports. From a national level, down to individual metros, to specific neighborhoods, NPF Research has been providing unparalleled apartment market intelligence to the multifamily industry for almost five decades. Learn more by contacting us at 877-284-4938 or visit www.npfresearch.com and click on Market Reports.